there's something we really need to do before we head into winter. Actually, this is the last weekend we can do it. So let's get working. It is time to paint the barn. And we're not just painting it any color, nope. We are taking this red barn and we're painting it white. <laughs> visit me guys such a sweet surprise here they come hi they're so cute see ya hey mister what are you doing hey mister tighten this up like you did with the bottom yeah, I'm just making sure that the nails are in. That's what I'm thinking. The problem with using nails is they all come out over time. Hi. He's so curious about what you're doing. Really, Justin? Look at him. Hi. You guys are so weird. You hang out every day. Why do you feel like the need to be nose to nose always? About three years ago, we saw this property for the first time. And I remember seeing the barn and knowing how much potential it had to be an amazing space to start our farm dream. It was plenty big with four, five stalls and all I saw was horses. It was, it was everything I wanted at the time. Now, obviously beauty isn't everything, right? Function is so important, but I'm somebody who loves design. I love making things beautiful, taking things that are old and broken looking or in need of some, some love. And I love making them beautiful spaces and showing people that you can do it without a lot of money and do it on your own. Now that's me, I'm a design person. Luckily though, I'm married to somebody who's very handy and very skilled at taking something, building onto it and making it functional and pretty. So I came up with a design. I planned out what I wanted the barn to look like back in the winter and I sketched it out. Now part of me never thought that this would actually come to fruition, but this summer we're making it happen. First it started with replacing the roof. And now that was a big project. I was really not involved but that guy over here handled it like a pro and it looks awesome added bonus of redoing the roof we put solar panels on it and those solar panels power the entire energy needs of our property next up he worked on adding the dormer to the front um, which is a design element that I really wanted to add on top of that it's incredibly functional and will make loading our loft with hay so much easier each year when we add 300 bales of hay we also centered the doorway again beautiful and functional the doorway centering made it look more like a barn we're gonna do double doors that slide open and it makes it so much easier to navigate in and out the barn with horses because they can walk straight down the middle aisle and they don't have to make a jagged turn so what's next? Well, we have a quite a few things next. Today, we are getting it prepped for painting. We're not painting it red again. No, friends. We are painting this thing white. Sounds a little crazy. Sometimes being crazy is a really good thing. Thinking outside of the box, doing something you don't see. Don't worry. We know how we're going to handle the dirt. We're going to be putting a 
um, like a Wayne's coating kind of thing with roof paneling on the bottom two to three feet and that's going to protect it from water splashback and dirt and really the top of the barn doesn't get all that dirty why white it might sound boring to you but to me white black and natural wood with pops of um, natural color is beautiful i love that that's beautiful i'm not a big bright colors person except for when they're in nature and so i really like you're so loud i know what? So white barn, black trim, and natural wood doors. That's going to be beautiful to me. And then we're going to landscape it in the front, add some whimsical flowers and perennial shrubs. That's what I want. I want neutral colors with the beautiful natural colors that come in with the plants and say degrees, right? So we're painting it white. First step is pressure washing. Is that right? Pressure, pressure washing. Pressure washing. Hi, baby, don't be scared. How does it feel? It's beautiful out here. It's like 55 degrees. It's gorgeous. Beautiful fall day. We got our little barn cat. She's gonna be our helper. I'm just gonna take all these trim pieces off and since we already have no trim everywhere else, that way we can paint them black and reinstall them. These windows are getting pulled out and we're gonna be redoing the window design. Yeah. Yeah. How is it attached? It's nailed. Oh, I need to look at all those spider webs. Did that scare you? Getting her filled up? Yeah. Getting her filled up. <laughs> Who are you impersonating? I've been feeling so small. So before we can get this bad boy painted. Before we can get it painted, we need to pressure wash because this barn has not been cleaned since we actually probably before we moved in. Um, so we're gonna pressure wash, get some of the gunk and chipping wood or chipping paint off, and then we'll go ahead and get them painted. Where is it? The regular? Is it the one that we normally use? Yeah. Okay. Don't look, guys. This barn is a disaster. This is very high pressure. <laughs> it's not on yet. What do you mean? The pressure wash is not on. Oh. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. At least about a sun exposure. Don't feel the 